Here are six parameters you need to be using in mid-journey. Number one, changing the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio changes the height and width of images generated in mid-journey. Aspect ratio consists of two numbers separated by a colon. The first number is the width ratio, and the second number is the height ratio. So if we have an aspect ratio of 2 to 1, that means the image will be twice as wide as it is tall. The default aspect ratio in mid-journey is 1 to 1, which means the height and width will be equal. So if we generate an image with 1024 pixels in width, it will also have 1024 pixels in height. To change the aspect ratio, we simply need to add dash dash AR at the end of our prompts followed by the aspect ratio. So if I want to generate an image with the aspect ratio 2 to 3, so if the width is 2000 pixels, the height will be 3000 pixels. I need to enter my prompt by typing slash imagine, followed by the prompt Q Panda Samurai logo, followed by dash dash AR 2 colon 3. There are some limits to keep in mind. While Midjourney version 5 and version 5.1 can have any aspect ratio, version 4 can only have up to a 2 to 1 or 1 to 2 ratio. As far as which aspect ratios you should use, while the default is 1 to 1, this is not commonly used in merchandise. 2 to 3 or 3 to 2 are commonly used for prints and frames, along with 5 to 4 and 4 to 5. For phones and TV screens, it can depend. While 16 to 9 is common for monitors, it can vary for phone screens. The iPhone 14 screen has a 19.5 to 9 ratio, so make sure to check your aspect ratio is correct for your application. Number 2. Adding variety using chaos. If you want Midjourney to generate a larger variety of images for each prompt you enter, use the chaos parameter. At the end of your prompt, type dash dash chaos, followed by a number between 0 to 100. The smaller the number, the less variety will be generated in your image grid. The default value is 0. If we generate a set of images with chaos set to 0, you can see that they're all pretty similar. The goldfish all face the same direction, have the same 3D art style, and have the same background of some clouds with a couple of bubbles. As we increase the chaos value, you'll see Midjourney generate a large variety of images in your image grid. If we use chaos equals 50, you can see that goldfish now face different directions and the one in the top left has a weird suit of armor on it. The backgrounds also have some more variety with buildings and other fish. Let's see what happens if we set chaos to 100. Now we get some pretty cool results. The image in the top left is in a different 2D type of art style. There are some cities in the backgrounds and the goldfish themselves seem to have longer flowy fins. The chaos parameter is especially helpful when you want to explore the image generation possibilities for your prompt and increase the creativity of mid-journey. Give this a try if you ever want to spice up the imagination of your images. Number 3. Separating concepts in your prompt. When generating images in mid-journey, it can be difficult to separate different concepts in your prompts. An easy way to handle this is to use multi-prompting. For example, if I enter the prompt hot dog with the slash imagine command, Midjourney will interpret the words hot and dog as belonging to a single concept. But what if I didn't want to mix these two words together and wanted them to be processed separately? I can separate concepts in my prompt by using the double colon operator. If I put two colons after the word hot, Midjourney will separate the two concepts of hot and dog. We can see that in the generated image grid, the images are now dogs with some fire embers around them. I can also weigh the different concepts in my prompt differently. If I want the word hot to be twice as important as the word dog, I can add two colons with the number two after hot and two colons with the number one after dog. This will generate images where the word hot is twice as important. Looking at our image grid, we see that there's much more emphasis on the word hot as the fire in the image is much more obvious. Let's see what happens if we increase the importance of the word hot, let's say by four times. Now the word dog is essentially ignored, so maybe we shouldn't have increased the weighting for hot by so much. Something to note, only the ratios between the weightings matter, so if we use the weights 2 and 1, or the weights 200 and 100, the result will be the same since the ratio is still 2 to 1. You can extend multi-prompting to more than two concepts. For example, the prompt cupcake illustration generates pictures of cupcakes. If we separate the concept cup with the double colon operator behind it, Midjourney now generates pictures of cakes and cups. And if we separate all the concepts, cup, cake, and illustration, 
Midjourney now generates a cake in a cup, and the concept illustration is also separated. As you can see, there's flowers and butterflies being generated, which is typical of a random illustration. Give multi prompting a try next time you're in Midjourney. Number four, creating patterns using tile. Creating tiled patterns in Midjourney is simple and quick. Go to your Midjourney bot Discord channel and make sure you have the settings you want selected. Now enter a prompt for your pattern by using the slash imagine command. I'm going with a goldfish themed pattern today. To make this a pattern, add the dash dash tile command at the end of your prompt and run the image generator. Once Midjourney has finished generating your images, upscale it by clicking the U button corresponding to the image you like. Now to make it into a tiled pattern, right click on your upscaled image and select copy image. Now open up a new browser tab and go to pychon.com slash checker. The link will be in the description. Press Ctrl plus V to paste your mid-journey image. A tiled pattern will automatically be generated. To adjust the scale of your pattern, click and drag the slider bar at the top of the page. When you're satisfied, click on the download arrow, which will download your tiled pattern as a PNG file. Open it up and we can zoom in and out and see the resolution is preserved. Number 5. Generating photorealistic images using RAW mode. Midjourney version 5.1 specifically comes with a new RAW mode setting for photorealism. To understand this parameter, we need to rewind a bit. Midjourney version 4, by default, generates images that are stylistic and creative. Then version 5 came out and shook things up by generating photorealistic images by default. Version 5.1 reverts back to the version 4 aesthetic by generating stylistic and creative images automatically. The easiest way to generate photorealistic images with version 5.1 is to use RAW mode, which can be accessed by typing slash settings into the prompt, selecting version 5.1, which brings up the new raw mode setting, and then selecting raw mode. Alternatively, you can add dash dash style raw at the end of your prompt if version 5.1 is being used. With raw mode activated, all you have to do now is enter a prompt and an extremely photorealistic image will be automatically generated. Try this out next time you're working with version 5.1 and need some realism. And number 6, upgrading your Niji images using built-in styles. Midjourney's Niji version 5 allows you to make some pretty incredible anime style images. But did you notice that all the images generated using this setting tend to have the same generic modern anime style and undersaturated color scheme? To add some variety, Niji version 5 also comes with three additional styles. Cute, expressive, and scenic. To access these styles, all you need to do is select the Niji version 5 setting. And when you are entering the prompt, add dash dash style with the style keyword you want. For example, to generate an image using the expressive style, I enter my prompt of a water ninja with shark armor and dash dash style followed by the keyword expressive. The default style tends to be very detailed but generic looking with undersaturated colors. The cute style generates cute and playful cartoon images. The expressive style has a more mature and western feel to it. And the scenic styles will generate a more filled in background with more context around the characters. Make sure to give these a try next time you use Niji in Midjourney. Make sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks.